Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for August 16th through the 22nd. It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. We're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, the near future. I'm going to clarify that, and then we'll clear that spread and get into your person's energy, your energy, the possible outcome, as well as the Romance Angels and the Oracle cards. So I just want to say a huge th shout out, if I can speak, to everyone who's returning. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll stay. Um, I also do personal readings, so if you'd like one of those, the information is in the description box below. All right, let's see what's going on with you. We have the Judgment in Reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups in Reverse, and then in your current energy, we have the Tower, the Page of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. In the near future, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Fool in Reverse. Now, the overall energy in the is the Queen of Cups, which immediately tells me that there's something about some emotional insight that you've had. It's not just about being self-nurturing and emotionally available, which both things are there. That's another energy that you could be feeling, maybe a little bit more in the next, say, 10 days to two weeks than you have recently. Doesn't mean that it's that you've been shut off completely. It just means that maybe at this point, you feel like you can open up a little bit more. It does feel very much about wanting to nurture things around you. So it could be that you're putting some energy into nurturing things like your home or your garden or just loving on your pets and things that you really love and appreciate. I feel a lot of love around those areas of life. All right, so let's look into what's going on in the recent past. We have the judgment in reverse with the seven of pentacles and the knight of cups in reverse. It feels like you were waiting maybe even patiently at some point for something to get going, something to get moving. And it's a sense of, almost like a sense of frustration around why can't this move forward? What's the waiting period? And it could be that you're so emotionally open and who you're with, if you're with somebody currently, is not moving at the same pace. So you could just feel like things are a little bit stagnant or you did feel like they were stagnant Right now, I sense that there's a part of you that might want to move forward. You're looking for, aren't we all, something to be happy about. The judgment card is, of course, about making decisions, but also about being joyous within family, within relationships, and just in general. So there could also be something going on. Um, they said something about a brother. That's not going to be for everybody, but you might be having issues with someone who's having some emotional issues right now. In other words, they, um, I heard depression. So there's somebody male specifically close to you that might be younger or could be a little bit older, but I'm sensing somebody younger that's dealing with something emotionally and it's a difficult time for them. They could be having problems within their own family. In other words, if they're old enough to be married and have kids or they're just going through a tough time. It feels like a slight depression. So a part of you might feel like you're almost unable to help. Like I said, that may not be for everybody. We'll get some clarifiers and see in just a moment. Now in the current energy, we have the tower, the page of pentacles in reverse, and the queen of pentacles. So does this feel like a big shift and change? It does. Something could be shifting, but I feel like it's your energy more than anything. I don't sense that it's anything catastrophic. Does it maybe have to do with that person that could be a little bit younger? It could also be a child for some of you that's having some maybe financial issues, and that could mean that they'd have to move back home. Uh, they look to you as the very stable person, whether you're male or female. The Queen of Pentacles is, of course, very stable. She's supportive. And it feels like there's an energy around you that has had some stuff go on and they just need a lot of support right now. That could be a partner that is a little bit younger than you, but I sense more that this is family associated. Okay, and then in the near future, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Fool in Reverse. So this is telling me that this isn't about being selfish. When you have the Four of Pentacles, yes, it could be that somebody's holding back from you. In this sense, I think this is kind of advice from spirit to say, 
you need to speak your mind and sometimes you have to turn your back on people and just say no not that you're being selfish you're just making sure that you've set proper boundaries especially around your finances if people seem to reach out to you a lot because spirit saying you don't want to be a fool in this situation or maybe you've felt like that in the past like these people have taken advantage of me i've allowed too much of it the queen of swords male or female makes me feel like you're going to speak your truth about it so you may have to turn your back on some people that you don't really want to but honestly it helps them it's more helpful to them if they have to figure things out than it is if somebody's always coming to their rescue not saying that you always did that or that that's bad if it's a child we always want to be there for them but this could be in a relationship as well if you have somebody you're connected to and you feel like you're constantly having to pick up because they're having troubles financially this could be a decision in the future that you just decide to cut that off and that's going to be closing off something like you don't want to continue to move forward and feel like you just keep giving and giving and giving and you get nothing in return or that they take advantage of your kindness okay let's get some clarifiers for that <clears throat> so the judgment card with the seven of pentacles this is for aquarius i do also feel there's an energy of some of you not all of you that might have hoped that somebody was coming back into your life and right now i don't feel like that person's emotionally op open or available and that's why you're showing up as emotionally available but things are just not stable and i feel like for that person in particular things aren't stable financially and that could be part of the reason why they're not coming forward so some of you may resonate with that some of you may not but that's what i feel like what is going on so the five of cups that makes sense and the eight of pentacles in reverse and then we have justice in reverse and then we have the seven of pentacles again to clarify the seven of pentacles so this is really wanting to see things grow and at times it can be a little frustrating you could be in a job where you feel like you need to make a decision because emotionally you're just not connected to it anymore and it doesn't seem to fulfill you that way and you've waited long with another clarifier from the other deck of the seven of pentacles to see things move in a certain direction and it just feels kind of stagnant right now so whether you decide to move forward or not i think with the tower card there might be a decision coming up and maybe it's time to break that either contract that you have at work or to start looking for something new you will be stable if you're concerned about that so with the five of cups and the eight of pentacles in reverse this is it's very much about being emotionally to me drained is what I want to say if you just don't feel like things are balanced now if this is in a relationship yes you've put a tremendous amount of work and I feel like there's a, a sense of wanting to pull back you could also feel like your person was doing this as well and there was just never balance I, I strongly feel like this has a lot to do with finances now again if this is a child or someone that is in your family that depression that sadness is coming up and it it feels like they don't have something to work towards and their life is out of balance so it could be different for each of you so take what resonates all right let's clarify the seven of Pentacles with the knight of cups in reverse this is for Aquarius all right so we do have the devil card coming out so and then the Empress this is you standing up and not allowing people to the death in reverse um, take advantage and with the devil energy is it always something toxic not necessarily it could be obsessive behavior as well and that could be what you're dealing with somebody who's got a lot of obsessive interests they could be obsessed with you and not leaving the situation alone now if they're not emotionally open and available that could mean that they have some toxic tendencies or you know they could be drinking too much they disconnect from their feelings they don't know how to deal with their feelings things like that now the empress card to me this is your energy this is where you stand it's like we have exact opposites somebody's in a really dark place and someone who's in a really good place and i feel like it's your energy that is um, spiritually grown and most likely the person you could be dealing with child or otherwise is someone who's not there yet they're still going through those difficult times 
of realizing, you know, this is behavior and consequence. And then we have the four of swords in reverse. So for you, it's, there's not a whole lot to think about here. Like you're not going to be spinning over and over and over again about how to move forward with this. So it being in the recent past, you could have made a decision to already cut this person off. I feel like that comes in the near future. Right now, I think you're just realizing that you're at a different place. You're at a different spiritual level. You've grown beyond this type of energy if that's a relationship. And if it's a child, it's very difficult to explain, you know, what you understand that's going on because they don't quite get it yet unless they too are waking up. But there's a lot of um, unhealthy behaviors that seem to be involved here. All right, especially with death in reverse, because that tells me that somebody hasn't gone through any kind of a transformation just yet. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, very strong Scorpio energy. I have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Leo, Sag, and Aries are the ones that are primarily here. Okay, let's look at the tower with the page of pentacles, please. Let's shuffle for a second and then we'll get the cards. There we go. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, which is great because it goes from being upside down to right side up with the Strength card and then the Two of Swords. And then the Ten of Cups in reverse on the bottom. Page of Pentacles is very much about a new beginning. So this tower is going to come in and shift something where something didn't seem to be moving forward. Let's say you want to change jobs and you didn't feel like there was something out there for you. This is an opportunity and I feel like in this case, it's going to be a surprise or something that you don't expect that's going to show up for you and help you realize that this change was necessary in order to take you to a place where you have a fresh start. Not only is it going to be better for you, it's going to be better for you financially. And I think you're going to get back that kind of drive. If you own your own business, that could be this could be adding, they just said something about a new product or taking a risk is what I heard with the the strength card so you could be dealing with a leo this is about using that strength using that power from within and whatever creativity whatever it is that pushes you in that direction it, they're saying be strong because everything's going to work out it just may not feel like it right this second now the two of swords in reverse means you're not stuck in any kind of a decision you'll make one very quickly as soon as something happens with this tower card it's really for the best i don't feel like it's something that's going to end and be horrible could some of you have been through a relationship breakup and it hurts absolutely but I feel like there's this new refreshed energy within you because you're regaining your strength and you're making clearer more concise decisions so that you don't sit in that energy for long periods of time especially ones that don't fulfill you any longer and the ten of cups is not just about being in a family situation or the ultimate relationship it's also about the other things in your life that make you feel fulfilled so if you're not feeling that way this is what this tower is coming in to tell you is that things are going to shift and change so that you can find that again all right so let's look at the page of pentacles in reverse with the queen of pentacles that's what i was saying about the security you're going to be okay financially. You're stable enough that if you do have to make a shift, there isn't going to be an issue. Okay, and then we have the Six of Wands. Exactly. That is, oh, and the Eight of Wands. Something's going to move really, really quickly. The Moon card in reverse. So there's no guessing about this. You just can't see it coming. So with the Two of Wands in reverse, that tells me there might be a little bit of a fear about the future. Because you can't see what's going on, the light at the end of the tunnel that I always say when people get that epiphany moment and realize, oh, things are working out, everything's going to be okay. Right now, you just can't see it. So if that means that there's going to be a shift in a relationship and a renewed kind of feeling, great. If this is for a child, I do feel like you're going to be giving them the strength to figure out how to move on on their own. If this is a family member that needs your help, I think you're going to do the same thing. It's like giving them the swift kick in the butt and tough love in order to get them on their way. So this is definitely going to be a victorious situation. I think you're going to be happy with the choices that you make. So not only are you going to be successful in finding something new if this is a shift in your job, but you're going to feel good about the choices you've made with the people around you and taking a stand is what I really feel. So things are going to move really quickly after this. Communication is going to open up. Things will be very clear. 
there's not going to be anything left unsaid. With the moon in reverse, I don't feel like there's a lot of fears or um, anything hidden right now. I just feel like it's as soon as you open up and you're very clear about how you feel and your communication is really clear, then there's nothing left to hide, right? There's no um, nothing to reveal. Nobody has anything, no secrets, none of that good stuff. It's just an open line of communication to find what it is that's going to help move you forward. Okay, so let's look at the Four of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords in the near future. This is for Aquarius. So then we have the Five of Wands, so it could be a little bit of an internal battle. The Page of Cups and the Star card in reverse, and then we have the Lovers in reverse. If you have decided to release somebody, it may be a little bit difficult. This person won't give up without a fight, is what I want to say. We have the Page of Cups. They're going to keep coming back in. Um, this feels, and for a lot of you it may not be, if it was a toxic ex, that's not who I'm talking about. This is somebody who just needs to grow emotionally. So they may be coming back saying, I really want to fight for this. I'm trying. Um, they have a very young soul. They have a young energy. And then we have the Star card in reverse. So there's some healing that needs to be done before this could move forward if you're interested in either staying in a relationship that's having some trouble or this is somebody who comes back and says, listen, I really love you. Um, I know I need to heal the things that went wrong. I want to put any drama or conflict behind us and try to move forward. With the Queen of Swords, that's where I believe you're going to hold back just a tad. Maybe you feel like they were selfish in the past or breadcrumbed you. And now you're kind of retreating and holding back so that you don't get hurt anymore. So... The clarity is going to be there. Your back is turned to this person. You may not be open to having this discussion, but they're going to try. All right. So the Queen of Swords with the Fool in Reverse. That's why uh, um, before I said one thing and now this is another message that's coming through for this. I, I feel a sense of I'm not going to be fooled again by somebody who doesn't know how to maintain their own emotional stability and or their own financial stability. All right, and then we have the Eight of Cups in Reverse with the King of Cups in Reverse and the Three of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Swords. So this could create a lot of conflict. So do I sense that you could be losing some sleep over it? Maybe, because there's a, a sense that there's a desire not to walk away. With the King of Cups in Reverse, there could be a little bit of emotional manipulation. You could have, yes, dealt with somebody who had you in a third party and you feel the hurt and the pain but I see you getting beyond it. At least at this point, if you're hoping for clarity, you're gonna get that in the near future. And right now I feel like this may be your person. They first come to you with some amount of love, but I think you sense that they may be just too emotionally disconnected. I just sense that somebody does not wanna walk away from this. All right, guys, so let's get into whoever's on your mind. Go ahead and think about that person and I will pull the cards for that once I clear this. All right. So this is for Aquarius, please. Their person and their energy. This is for Aquarius. Okay. Let's see. So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, this person's having a lot of financial difficulties. They're trying to be strong about it with the Strength card, the Nine of Cups, some sadness. So you could be dealing with a partner who has some insecurities, definitely a self-sabotaging type of energy. Um, yours is the Five of Swords in reverse, not wanting any drama. Six of Wands in reverse, the Justice in reverse, and the Emperor. And then we have the Two of Swords. So there may have been already a definitive decision or conversation that's been had saying, look, you need to get your shit together or I'm just not going to continue with this. Because in their energy, the Empress is in reverse, but in your energy, the Emperor is in the upright. So you're in a good place. You're the one that's stable. They seem to be trying really hard to find some kind of solution to this. Are they interested in growing spiritually the same way that you are? I'm not guessing that they are. I don't think they're there yet, and that could be why they're going through 
that beginning stage, which is really painful. So they could have lost a lot of things. It happens sometimes. You lose financially, you lose emotionally, you disconnect from family. A lot happens in a spiritual awakening. So they're trying to stay strong. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Libra, Taurus, um, and I just heard Sagittarius. All right, so that's where their energy is. Let's look at yours. You have the Five of Swords in reverse with the Six of Wands, the Justice and the Emperor card. This is you taking back control of things that did not pan out. So if it didn't, I think you're standing strong, hurt maybe, but in a place of, I'm just going to take back control of my life and keep moving. I'm not going to sit in the drama. I'm not going to continue to fret over things that haven't worked. If it wasn't balanced, it wasn't. I don't feel it was. Are they going to get justice? Like if they did you really wrong, uh, could they? Maybe, but I don't think that's up to us to worry about. I think, you know, universe takes care of that stuff. So you just seem to be standing strong in your power. Now, if this person finds a way to shift and change, is there a possibility? Absolutely. If they want to do what it takes in order to be that right partner, because right now they're upside down and you're right side up. All right, let's look at the Romance Angel cards. Tell me about what's going on for Aquarius. So we have passion, new love, soulmate, and give your relationship a chance. And then we have some deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Do I think that's the person you're dealing with? I do. Now, if you're cross watching, you're probably going to say, no, it's flipped, but I get that. It can be. You just, there's some deception and I don't know that it's necessarily a third party. It could have been. It just feels like this person doesn't know themselves very well. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. And then give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So yes, this is very much indicating to me that there is a possibility, strangely, with where their energy is, if they get themselves together. Otherwise, a lot of you are just looking for new love. And that's when you're going to actually meet your soulmate. Well, there's, everyone's a soulmate, but someone that you connect with on a different level, someone that sees you, and then you'll be able to give your relationship a chance. I do definitely sense that there's passion between the two of you, or you wouldn't be showing up as the emperor and empress, even with them in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's get a possible outcome for you. I do sense that this person's a little obsessive about you. All right, the hangman in reverse coming out of a place. Okay, a lot of mental energy. Yeah, there's there's a lot of discussions that need to be had, but I like the ace of swords because that's clarity. That's new beginnings and having an open conversation about like where are you? Where am I? How is this even going to work? That is my true pair with the the crown, the king and the queen. So, the hangman in reverse with the four of swords. It's just thinking about this. How could this possibly work if we do get started again? And the energy is very much about wanting to push forward. So that's that passion that I pick up on. So I do feel like there is definitely a passionate connection here. And is it possible? Yeah, it is. If that person takes care of what they need to and shows up for you the way that they're supposed to. All right, let's get the lover's oracle. This is for Aquarius. Okay, that feels right. It says romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. And then we have twin flames, your passion ignites. So that could be it. If you're on this journey and you feel that kind of push and pull where one person's going through something at one point and then the other is, I feel I need to pull one more. Let's look and see. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. All right. Last but not least, let's get into the wisdom of the oracle for some messages from spirit. This is for Aquarius. All right, so we have orphaned. Imagine, I think that's your person's issue. Co-create and between worlds, absolutely. And then serendipity, that reduces to a nine. So this is about closing out that one cycle and starting a brand new one for you. 
We do it all the time, by the way. So they don't have to be major cycles. They can be small ones that last a couple of weeks and it's like this happens and then boom, you close that out. And then you start a new cycle in one area of your life. There's a lot going on in this reading. So there could be closing out the cycle of allowing people to come in and think that you're an ATM if you've been helpful to a lot of people in your life. Things like that. So you could be shutting that down. That's the clarity that I think you were finding in the near future. Orphaned, I feel like this is your person. This is a lot of changes that need to go on. Healing around um, an absent parent or feeling like they've been left a lot in relationships. And then we have imagine. Try to picture how you want things to look. That's what I think is important. Whenever we have, the, take the time, and we have a moment to really picture how we want things to look, Yes, we want them to work out if we love somebody very much, but we also have an understanding that if it's not meant to be, it isn't meant to be. I do feel like the two is representative of two people. So co-create also says the same thing. That's a four. That's finding balance between the two of you. So it's a need to come together and create together. And then between worlds, this is where I feel like this particular relationship is, or you could be feeling this way as you make these shifts and changes. In other words, you're becoming a new person in a sense. One other part of your personality is shifting and changing where you want to still be loving and open and nurturing, but without feeling like you're being taken advantage of. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you again for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I love you guys so much. I appreciate your support. If you wanted a personal, that is in the description box below. I hope you have an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next reading. Lots of love. Take care.